Hi, on today's episode of Aquava Magic Spotlight, let's explore some of the props for Amonimus era. So, Amonimus story talks about deities and gods. When we imagine gods and deities, you know, they always have something that emanates their power. And for us, we wanted to use um, the staffs to communicate that. So our staffs comes in colors, which represents each deity and their elements. So we have the white, we have the blue, we have the red, we have the green, and we have the gold. The green stands for Mother Earth. Um, in our local language, we term it as Asasiya. We have the gold, which represents our wealth, our money. So that is Sika. We have Nimdia, wisdom, which is white. But the trick is that the red deity, the name doesn't communicate fire, but the red represents fire. And if you look at the staff, it has fire as its, its symbol. So here you have it. Our staffs are ready, our costumes are ready. And I can't wait to see how everything turns out on set. And I know you can't also wait to see it. So stay tuned to Aquaba Magic as we watch Amonimus Era. 